In this procedure, you will learn how to inject medication into the subcutaneous tissue. Read the provider's order and clarify any questions with the provider. You should never dispense or administer a drug without making sure the provider's order is legible and the details of the drug are known. If you are unfamiliar with the medication, refer to the PDR, online drug reference, or package insert to determine the purpose of the drug, common side effects, typical dosage, and any pertinent precautions or contraindications. Be prepared to answer any questions the patient may have about the medication. Use the seven rights to prevent error. The right patient, the right drug, the right dose, the right route, the right time, the right technique, the right documentation. Perform calculations needed to match the provider's order. Confirm the answer with the provider if you have any questions. Dispense the medication in a well-lit, quiet area. Assemble the required equipment. Choose the correct syringe and needle unit, depending on the site of administration, patient characteristics, and the amount of medication to be injected. Before you dispense the medication, sanitize your hands. Compare the order with the label on the vial of medication when you remove it from storage. Check the quality of the medication and the expiration date on the container and dispose of the medication if it appears contaminated, contains sediment, or has expired. This is the first of three label checks. Examine the label on the vial of medicine again just before dispensing the ordered dose. Make sure the strength on the label matches the order or that you dispense the correctly calculated dose. Clean the top of the vial with the alcohol wipe using a circular motion. Place the vial on a flat surface. With the needle cover in place, grasp the syringe plunger and draw up an amount of air equal to the amount of medication ordered. Remove the needle cover. Hold the vial firmly against a flat surface and insert the needle into the center of the rubber stopper. Careful that the needle touches only the cleaned rubber area. Inject the aspirated air in the syringe into the vial, making sure the needle is not in the liquid. Keeping the needle in the vial, pick up and invert them. Slowly pull back on the plunger with the unit at eye level and draw up more medication than ordered into the syringe unit. While the needle is still in the vial, check for air bubbles in the syringe. If air bubbles are present, move the fingers holding the vial down to grasp the vial and syringe as a single unit. With your dominant hand now free, use it to tap the syringe until the air bubbles dislodge and float into the tip of the syringe. Inject the air bubbles back into the vial with the extra medication that was withdrawn. At eye level, make sure the accurate amount of medication is in the syringe unit. Withdraw the needle from the vial and carefully replace the needle cover without letting the needle touch the outside of the cover. Return the medication to the shelf or the refrigerator, checking the order against the label one more time to complete all three label checks. Prior to entering the exam room, knock on the door and give it a moment. Greet the patient and identify yourself. Come in. Good morning, Tina. Good morning. How are you this morning? Good, how are you? I am good. My name is Tori. I am Dr. Shaman's medical assistant. I want to verify a few things with you. Okay. Can you give me your name? It's Tina Lakin. And your date of birth? 421. Verify the patient's identity with her full name and date of birth. Make sure the patient's information matches the order and the record. Provide the right education to the patient. Explain the medication ordered, provider ordering the medication, the desired effect, and common side effects. Answer any questions the patient may have. Use language the patient can understand. Tina, Dr. Anderson has ordered a B12 injection for you. It's a simple injection in the back of your arm, okay? Okay. All right. Ask the patient if he or she has any allergies. Do you have any known allergies of any medications? Not that I know of. If the patient refuses the medication, respectfully ask the patient the reason and notify the provider. Sanitize your hands again and put on gloves. 
Identify an appropriate site for an injection. Expose the upper posterior arm three inches below the shoulder and three inches above the elbow. To locate injection sites on the thigh, have the patient sit. Then, draw an imaginary line above the knee and below the uppermost part of the thigh. Then down the outer side and the center front of the leg. The area within these imaginary lines is where injections may be given. Another way to think of it is in the middle third of the lateral aspect of the upper leg. To locate injection sites on the abdomen, draw an imaginary line below the lower ribs as far around as you can pinch up fatty tissue folds. Abdominal injections must avoid a one inch area around the navel. Loosen the cap on the needle so that you'll be able to open it with one hand once you clean the injection site. Open the alcohol wipe. With the thumb and fingers of your non-dominant hand, grasp the tissue of the patient's posterior upper arm, pinching up the area to create a tissue fold. Cleanse the patient's skin with the alcohol wipe, using a circular motion and moving outward from the center. Use some friction to help clean the site. Create about a two inch circle at the site. Let the site dry. With the index finger and thumb of your non-dominant hand, pinch up the skin at the cleansed area. Pick up the syringe and tip it to remove the cover. Grasp the syringe in your dominant hand. Use your thumb and index finger. Make sure to have no fingers under the syringe. Quickly and smoothly insert the needle into the site using a 45 or 90 degree angle depending on the needle size. Insert the entire needle. Make sure the needle tip is not pointed towards your non-dominant hand to lessen the needle stick risk. After the needle has been completely inserted into the skin, release the skin that you are grasping. Use your dominant hand to stabilize the syringe area closest to the skin so that the needle does not move during administration of the drug. Your non-dominant hand should push the plunger to inject the medication at a rate of one milliliter over 10 seconds. Ensure all of the medication has been injected before pulling the needle out at the same angle. Activate the needle safety device with one hand while the other hand covers the site with gauze or a cotton ball. Gently apply pressure at the site to stop any bleeding. Apply a bandage if the patient requests it. Remember that some bandages may contain latex, which can be an allergen to some people. Some people may be allergic to the adhesive. Discard the needle and syringe in a biohazard sharps container. Make sure to put the needle in first. Observe the patient for any adverse reactions. Clean up the area. Discard all waste, including your gloves, in the biohazard waste container. Sanitize your hands. Document the procedure in the health record. Include assessments done, patient allergies, teaching or instructions provided, the provider ordering the medication, the medication name, dose, route, and how the patient tolerated the medication. Also include the manufacturer, lot, and expiration date for vaccines. Thank you.